This is Rummy's Corner. Rummy's Corner. On December 10th, 1958, reigning light heavyweight world champion Archie Moore took on Canadian challenger Yvonne Durrell. This fight took place almost exactly six years after Moore first captured the light heavyweight crown against Joey Maxim. And since that time, he had successfully defended the title six times. Moore had also been campaigning as a heavyweight and only lost twice during this stretch against heavyweight world champions Rocky Marciano and Floyd Patterson in his two failed bids for the most coveted prize in professional sports. Meanwhile, Darrell had only just entered the top 10 rankings the previous year and the Fighting Fisherman was a big underdog going into the contest against a highly regarded champion. Early in round one, Darrell came out aggressively and both fighters were looking to find openings to land their power shots. Darrell found the mark first, about a minute into the bout, when he landed a big right hand that sent the champion crashing down. Moore was up at the count of nine, barely beating the count, but he looked wobbly and appeared to be badly hurt. When action resumed, cool as an assassin, Durrell moved in for the kill and proceeded to batter Moore with a vicious and prolonged assault that had the champion defensively staggering all over the ring. Archie was using every survival instinct he had to try and remain on his feet, but the determined Durrell would not relent and his persistent barrage of power shots overwhelmed Moore again, causing him to collapse to the canvas once more. This time, Moore rose at the count of two, but was quickly dropped again a third time by a booming overhand right from the fighting fisherman. Amazingly, Moore once again barely beat the count, making his way to his feet at the count of nine. Darrell continued the attack but he appeared a little fatigued, and the old mongoose showcased his defensive craftiness and began fighting his way back as the explosive opening round came to a close. Despite surviving the round, Moore appeared to be tired, hurt, and on unsteady legs. But Archie weathered the storm, and incredibly, his legs appeared pretty fresh to start the second. The action became more tactical in round two, with both fighters throwing more jabs and trying to strategically find openings to land counter and power punches. This trend continued throughout rounds two, three, and four. While most of the action remained on the outside, the two were also beginning to sometimes find themselves in close quarters, where they both continued employing a calculated, deliberate approach. Moore began feeling more comfortable and taking more chances, but Darrell was still fighting effectively and having his moments. In round five, Darrell backed Moore to the ropes with a short combination and followed it up with another short combination that knocked Moore down for the fourth time in the fight. Moore rose to his feet at the count of six, and once again, Darrell moved in to try to finish his wounded foe. Once again, Moore's veteran technique and championship heart were on full display. The challenger continued to land clubbing blows on the champion, who somehow continued to find the energy and the will to fire back with some devastating shots of his own. There were a lot of fireworks in the fifth, but Moore persevered and even managed to stagger Darrell later in that round. The champion came out in round six firing off an aggressive snappy jab, and he began finding the mark with his right hand and landing some good left hooks. Darrell continued patiently attacking and fighting intelligently. The bout was evolving back into a tactical chess match, and this trend continued throughout round seven, with the exception that both men seemed to be growing more determined and perhaps a little less patient. As the seventh was drawing near an end, Archie landed a series of hard clubbing shots that sent the Canadian crumbling down to the canvas. Darrell was up at the count of three and survived the closing seconds of the round. 
Darrell seemed lively to start the eighth, and both fighters looked surprisingly fresh as they fired off and traded sharp, hard punches. This would turn out to be a very brutal round, with both boxers finding ways to create openings and land big shots. And there were a lot of mini momentum shifts that resulted in crowd-pleasing back and forth action between the two determined warriors battling it out. Round nine was another vicious round. Darrell landed a thudding body shot and followed that up with a quick combination upstairs that appeared to leave Archie a little dazed. Sensing that the champion was hurt, Darrell opened up, but the old mongoose managed to deflect, block, and evade most of the incoming fire after that initial barrage. Moore and Yvonne continued firing away and trading power shots in a contest that was quickly becoming a true war of attrition. The 10th round was a big round for Archie Moore, and he began opening up with crisp combinations with greater and greater frequency. The aging champion seemed the much fresher fighter, as Darrell was visibly seeming more and more fatigued, and he was having greater difficulty in finding ways to stop Archie's very spirited onslaught. As the round was nearing an end, Moore caught Darrell with a roaring right hand to the ear, and he followed this up with a series of razor-sharp shots that knocked Darrell down to the canvas. When referee Jack Sharkey reached the count of eight, the round had come to an end, and Darrell was saved by the bell. But he wasn't saved for very long. Early in the 11th, Darrell got tagged by a big counter right hand that once again had him hurt and led to a blistering barrage from the light heavyweight world champion, who dropped Darrell again. Darrell managed to beat the count, rising to his feet at the count of nine, but the damage had already been done. Darrell fought on bravely and tried to fight his way back, but just moments later, Archie walked him into another big right hand, dropping Darrell to the canvas for the second time in the round and the fourth and final time in the fight as referee Jack Sharkey counted him out for the 10 count. With the victory, Archie Moore, the old mongoose, had just made the seventh successful defense of the light heavyweight world championship. During the 1960s, Archie Moore founded a youth foundation called Any Boy Ken, which was dedicated to teaching boxing to underprivileged children from the San Diego area. The organization's mission was to empower San Diego's inner city youth to face life's challenges without cowardice, but with courage and dignity. The old mongoose would frequently show film of his famous battle with Darrell to the children of the youth club as a source of inspiration to illustrate how one can overcome life's setbacks and obstacles. Archie Moore and Yvonne Darrell would have a rematch the following year, but this time with much less flair for the dramatic as Moore scored a third round knockout over Darrell. But their epic first encounter will forever be remembered as one of the greatest fights and one of the greatest comebacks in the long, rich history of professional boxing. This is Rummy's Corner. Thank you for watching, and please stay tuned for more classic fight recaps in the future. Good night.